Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you guys here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the next event that's coming to the Sky RPG Global. It's going to be the Sports Day event with Jim Fuka and Jim Rasbero. <sighs> Jim, you know, Rasbero. I don't got much uh, good history with, with Rasbro, unfortunately. But hey, it's cool that we you know we are getting some more content coming up. Um, probably like I think after the time of uh, recording this video, it's gonna be a little while. But I didn't want to have it on the channel anyways, and all the new characters, so that we already have an idea what's going on. Which, by the way, look what's down here. Yep, they are next. So that's gonna be exciting. So uh, let's check it out. Um, here are all the characters that are gonna have a you know boost in it. So let's go ahead and go to the actual link here. See what's going down. Let's see if there's any new things that are going to happen. Um, and see if anything cool is coming with this. So, um, Global has not implemented this yet, by the way. Um, I think the last two celebrations were like were supposed to have that in there. But they didn't, for whatever reason. Uh, maybe with this one, they will add that in. I mean, I'm kind of hoping so. I mean, that would be nice. But we'll see. Um, but other than that, everything's the same here. Over here, you know, you got your health stage, you got your experience stage, you got your extra one-up printies, which is nice. So, again, it's always a nice way to get some more pretty fodder and just going crazy with that. You know, I usually just spend all my time on the health stage and try getting as much hell as I could possibly get. Because, obviously, hell is, you know, we run through that so quickly. Uh, we really run through that way too quickly. So, I'm always kind of sitting here um, trying to gather that. Uh, you know, normal point. Uh, information here is going to be the bonus character will appear randomly on each stage if you defeat it you have a chance to greatly increase the event point so uh, Jim Rasbro will be that character so if you see her you know go crazy go crazy and just destroy it. you know you, you know how it goes and then here are the characters here so 50% will be Jim Close Rasbro and Jim Close Fuka over here is the 20% which is Iris which is free to play Sapphire and Emizel which by the way I talked about them already they're pretty good man I don't know. I actually, I'm actually probably gonna end up summoning for these two. So I mean, at the time of recording this, the video probably is already out, but I'm recording this on August 4th. So and then over here you got the 10 percenters. So yeah, blood is which most of us should have. Well, maybe because if you can't beat the second stage, that first stage drop rate is actually garbage. Oh my god, I hate the drop rate for this man. I have not been able to like. I mean, I could not get a copy there. I had to just do the second stage over and over and over. So. He's going to be a pain in the butt, but hopefully most of you guys were able to get him. Uh, but I do apologize on that first drop rate stage, man. I tested it because I saw a bunch of people talking about it. I was like, no, nah, there's no way it's that bad. And no, it is that bad uh, getting that drop, unless you get really lucky, obviously. Uh, Virunga being free to play, so that's good right there. Uh, you got Mal, and then you got Awakened Rise. So, you know, you, you got a decent lineup. As of right now, obviously, I have these four. Um, when we get up here, I'll definitely have Iris done, which by the way, Iris is pretty cool. You got Sapphire and Emizo, so I'm definitely going to be summoning for them. And I might summon for, um, Rasbro and Fuka. I don't know. I'm kind of like on the fence for summoning for them as of right now. Um, not because of any reason. It's just Overlord Saga could definitely be coming out kind of soonish, so we'll see, right? Then if you scroll down, uh, I want to see if they change anything in the shop here, but it's pretty much, you know, uh, Global did update this already, so we have this in the shop. We do have our hell. You do have your rainbow-colored uh, printy shells, so that's nice. Again, your five copies of Iris. Let me see. Did they update the reincarnated? No, it's still level fives. Okay, that's a little sad. Come on, that's level six already, man. You know, I think a lot of us uh, would appreciate getting some more level six right now. I don't know when, they, when they're when they going to add level six, to be honest. Um, hopefully semi-soon, because that would be pretty nice to finally have that. But, um... That, that's fine. That's not that big of a deal. Over here, you got the statues. Um, you know, just normal statue stuff. Um, you know, make sure you grab those. About the mission, it's the same kind of deal. Just mission uh, replacing. And then everything else is basically the same. They want you to, um, you know, get your five copies of Virus. Um, and then they want you to get your Rainbow Printies. And obviously, go to, go hard, man. I mean, usually, this is a, th these are the things I always go and just clear completely every single event. Um, and I'm sure you guys have seen me uh, talk about that quite a bit. It's, bro, it's because I, like, reincarnated gems are probably the biggest pain in the butt. You know, constantly have to grind that. So, I, I like, I, that's why I'm like, man, give me level 6 so I can start, like, stocking up. I, I like hoarding them. I like hoarding them because whenever I get a new character, I don't like having to deal with having to, um, you know, basically just be like, man, what do I do now type of deal, right? Um, 
So, yeah, other than that, the event's pretty cool. Um, you know, it is coming in a, a little while, you know. I know it's a little bit, but I will have character details on all on everybody uh, coming out this week, uh, a couple days after this one. So that's going to be some content, um, which is nice because, again, I like, you know, being able to talk about characters and stuff like that. So that will be cool, and I'll have, a you know, a, a good amount of videos out. And then that gives me time to kind of think about other things, too. And I do have a new work schedule as well, so it's going to be... A very interesting moving forward it's gonna be a, a very interesting time period but let me know if you guys are excited for this um is this definitely like something you guys are ready to jump on you guys ready to start grinding already you know all that jazz i'm excited i my, my favorite grinding in discard rpg is the story events uh surprisingly i like the story events a lot i do think that they're fun the grind i like getting the four star characters i just think overall it's just a good time just trying to get your stuff up and um, I definitely enjoy it. I, I definitely enjoy grinding um, the story modes the most. You know, I just like watching my points go up. I like buying all the stuff out. I don't know. I enjoy events. The events are definitely the highlight for me with Disguise RPG. So it's cool that, you know, Overlord of Soggy's event is next. So that's going to be pretty cool. And then, like, we could see a look at pretty much the next stuff. So here's Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, hopefully, Global gets that. Then everything else, I think they, I'm sure, pretty sure they updated. No, they actually haven't updated the last couple of them on here. So that's interesting. Yeah, because there's a bunch more that they've added in. Um, but I do cover those on, like, whenever they come. So, you know, keep that in mind. I do, you know, they are covered. Um, but yeah, you know, just kind of fun little topics here. I'm definitely excited for this one. I don't know. I like their designs a lot. It's been, like, I think the designs for the sport units are pretty cool. So... It'll be pretty nice to hopefully grab them. I'm definitely going to try um, to grab them, in, you know, honestly. And yeah, man, so that's basically it. You know, I just want to go over all the information of the event. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as before. Um, you know, just grind it up. Do everything you guys got to do. It's going to be a good, good t time. And yeah, man, so that's basically it. So if you guys enjoyed the content, like and subscribe as always. Um... Again, I'll think of some different things to do here. Thankfully, I actually have things to cover. So, you know, on the off days, I'll figure out something. And then, obviously, JP. JP's crazy. So, we'll see what JP's up to um, here shortly. I mean, anytime I look at JP, I'm like, all right, boys. I'm like, what's going on today? JP get, goes wild, man. All the freaking time. And Global's going to get to that point. Um, Global is going to get to that point. So, um we'll see what happens boys we'll see what happens so again like and subscribe today thank you guys so much for the support as always and i'll see you guys tomorrow for probably jim fuka we'll probably start off with her and then we'll go down the line so all right take it easy bye